Carbon is an element that's found nearly everywhere on Earth, in the atmosphere, the soil, the ocean, and deep inside the Earth. It's also the main ingredient inside of every plant and animal, including you. Carbon doesn't stay in one place or in one form. Instead, it moves around between different parts of the Earth. This process is called the carbon cycle. Let's look at the atmosphere. Here you'll find carbon in the form of a gas called carbon dioxide. There are many ways that carbon dioxide moves into and out of the atmosphere through natural processes. For example, one way carbon dioxide is taken out of the atmosphere is through photosynthesis. Plants take carbon dioxide out of the air and use this carbon to build their leaves, stems, and roots. That means plants store carbon. When animals eat plants, they use this carbon for energy and to build their own bodies. One way that carbon dioxide gets into the atmosphere is when plants burn in a wildfire and their carbon is converted back into carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide also goes back into the atmosphere when plants and animals die and decompose. In certain places, like swamps and the bottom of the ocean, dead plants and animals don't completely decompose, and they end up buried in layers of sediments. Over millions of years, heat and pressure turn the carbon from these plants and animals into fossil fuels, like coal, oil, and natural gas. The ocean also plays an important role in the carbon cycle. Ocean water absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, but also releases carbon dioxide back into the air. All these different parts of the carbon cycle should be in balance, but people's activities are disrupting the cycle and knocking it out of balance. When we burn coal, oil, and gas to create energy, we're taking carbon from deep underground and putting it into the atmosphere faster than natural processes can take it away. After all, it took millions of years for those fossil fuels to form. Now the atmosphere is getting overloaded with carbon dioxide. In addition, when we cut down forests, that leaves fewer plants to take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. Here's another way to think about it. Imagine the atmosphere is like a big bathtub and carbon dioxide is the water. In the natural carbon cycle, the amount of carbon dioxide that goes into the atmosphere is balanced by the amount that goes out. It's like putting water into a bathtub, but letting the same amount go down the drain. The water level in the tub stays the same. And that's exactly what should happen with the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. But what happens if you add water to the bathtub faster than it can drain away? The tub will fill up and eventually overflow. Something similar is happening in the atmosphere. People are burning lots of fossil fuels and adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere faster than it can be removed. So the atmosphere is getting overloaded with carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, which means it traps heat in the atmosphere and keeps the Earth warm. So all this extra carbon dioxide is making the Earth warmer and causing the climate to change. It's a big problem, but we can solve it. One big part of the solution will be to reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by burning less coal, oil, and gas. This will help bring the carbon cycle closer to its natural balance.